Hey, orange one here. So, uh, <laughs> this, this is gonna take a little while to explain. Um, you remember that lab that we were at? The, the one that we were kind of like, there was like an ant lab and when, like Harvey was at the surface with us. Well, that's like, let's see, I think I need to kind of go, yeah, that's like this right here. So basically I was exploring a little bit and there was something that looks a little bit like the place that we're at currently. And that was on uh, this level, which is the same level that you find like subways at and whatnot. So yeah, basically we got um, this like mega tunnel structure that goes all the way down here. There was a couple like subhuman things that were like wandering around. It was, it was interesting. Let's just say that. Um, so we can't recru recruit uh, things, but we can kind of download map data, which is kind of interesting. So we get a little bit of subway data, I guess. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm hearing something talking about being able to use lethal force. Oh yeah, also we got like a little crowbar with this. So yeah, we got this little lab here, it looks like. Um, are we... Yeah, we're not listening to our mp3, so we should be able to hear if there's like something around us. South and above. So there are things there nearby. So I'm just gonna just see if there's anything I can kind of loot, you know? We'll see. Um, hold on, just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so let's see, we were just wandering around here looking to see if we could find that, hopefully that mutagen for, um, whatchamacallit, um, the medical mutagen that's that's what i'm really going for that would be like if we get that then like i would stop my mad's uh search i want to kind of like search this whole area it looks like this isn't like a snow or um an ice lab you know um, just some glass flask okay yeah and i'm hearing some stuff southwest i am hearing some clanging Okay, there's an insane cyborg. Um, I do have an insane amount of bullets, so I'm just gonna, like, it shot you. Honestly, like, it's it's kind of crazy. I have used a lot of them. I've used, like, a whole drum mag, which is, like, 50 rounds, so that's, that's no small feat. And, I mean, we are this, like, mega cyborg as well. I think our flashlight's almost out of power, but we do have another spare battery, and I also have extra battery power for our thermal suit which I I don't know if we're gonna need that it doesn't look like we're gonna need that here I don't think this is an ice lab from what I'm seeing Could I just kind of have a little peek there's a lot of stuff like there's some action going on around here I'm not sure exactly what it is what is that is that a zombie chaser okay so there's a chaser there that's not too bad. There's actually quite a few of them. Okay, well, you know we, what we gotta do then. We gotta just kind of funnel them like that, and we'll just take them out. And it's like honestly not too, too difficult to kill these guys. They're pretty weak. So just kind of wait a little bit. It definitely seems like there's some robots that are killing some zombies. I don't know what is exactly shooting. It could be something like a 50 cal. Also, the zombies could be like skeletal juggernauts. So I need to be kind of like careful. It sounds like there's a lot of action going on around here. I heard some of it when I was like, uh, you know, in the tunnels that run right by this. So I was like, oh, what's that building right there? Just a little lab, you know. This is actually a really cool layout. I like this a lot. This is uh, pretty unique. Yeah, I feel like our character is like this, like super cyborg character actually, like really, really doing rather well. And it's like I don't know. It's like when I think of cyborgs, I think of like Terminator, you know. 
It's like that's definitely not what we we are. Uh, fish serum. Okay. Cool. I guess. I think we're just like a transhumanism, you know? Like that's I think it's kind of like a, oh, there's the turret. Okay, well we could try and get that guy with our flashlight. We could try and do that. Um, let's see. I think yeah, let's let's do the the flashlight trick. We're gonna um, hold on. We're gonna oh uh, wrong button. Take the flashlight, wield it. No, you don't really need to be wearing the towel. That was the wrong button. Uh, you could wear the, the gun, though. Uh, let's go ahead and activate the flashlight. Open this, and then we'll throw said flashlight to, like, there. And then we should be able to get our gun out and shoot them from the dark here. I might even be able to, like... Get an angle like on you from like here. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. Okay, we're doing it. Yep, there goes that turret. Easy, right? Not too bad. And now we're gonna have like access to a stupid amount of bullets. That flashlight throwing trick is. I, I'm a pretty big fan of that. Of that that makes the turrets pretty trivial actually. You can get the light. A uh, chemical reference. Dang it, man! I was I was very hopeful. I thought that was gonna be the one. Uh, residential places. Okay, well, let's open this up because I think I'm hearing some action going on here. Yeah, what was that? Is that an acidic zombie? Hello. You're just by yourself, and oh, you're definitely not just by yourself. Um, I kind of am hitting them. There we go. They're down. We'll just take some steps back. We're fine. Any others? I think they were good. Uh, how many bullets do we have? 18 out of 30. Okay, well. Maybe I should start, uh... Either conserving or I think actually this was Yeah, actually no, that's not conserve. What am I talking about? What am I going on about? Got a drum mag loaded up, man. You're kidding me, right? Yeah, dude. Let's get that loaded up with the, the drum mag. <laughs> and then let's get these uh loaded up as well. Like, check that out, man. We got like four. That's that's what 120 plus another 50. That's 170. I mean, when I was doing it, like my belt-fed gun, I was actually only carrying around 170 rounds, anyways. So pretty dang good. If you think about it in that regard, you know. Like, I don't think you can realistically carry much more than that. Um, yeah, just dismember. I think there's some something flying around killing zombies. I'm okay with them fighting each other. Whatever it is, that they're weakening each other. If the zombies die, that means that they probably are fighting robots that I don't really want to fight. My eardrums suddenly ache. Um, okay, that's concerning. Uh, okay. All right, well, we got into here. I am concerned about my eardrums suddenly aching. I'm gonna plug that in. I know it's gonna make it so we can't really hear, but I'm I'm a little bit worried about why my eardrums are hurting. Yeah, why are they hurting? It's very strange. I've not had this this happen where our character's hearing gets hurt. Just kind of protect. Oh my gosh! What's what's this? Is this the drone thing? 
It is. I think it's gonna dispatch things. Can I just like tag it auto? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh sweet. Okay. Uh that wasn't so bad. Now we've got a ton of flashbangs and grenades and C4 hacks. If I if I really wanted to play nasty, I could I think I might use some of those. Like it might be uh in the spirit of Nosh. Only take like a C4 hack and a grenade hack or two. Is that what was hurting our hearing? Is it that thing? I'm just curious. I think Yeah, our character Oh, ninjutsu. Nice. See, that's why you want to check those. Honestly, I think that was also what was hurting our hearing. But our character's hearing should come back. I don't know. Oh, nope. Our eardrums are suddenly aching. Why is that? Uh, magazine entrance. Uh-oh. Okay, well. Like we said earlier, there's not really much that I can get there that I want. Um, we're going to have a quiet time, I guess. Can I listen out for things, please? If I can hear things, it'd be nice. Um, oh, there's that. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I, I thought about getting the Jane out. Oh, geez. Wrong mode. Nosh probably actually enjoyed that. <laughs> um, I could use these hacks actually to kill these robots as something. And actually, you know, I should probably be popping these these bad boys open as well if I can. Why not, right? There can be really good things in these. I'd like that and that. Both of those are really good CBMs. Oh my gosh, that right there proving my my point uh what's that uh, science sd i don't i'm not familiar with that item i mean cool and the climate control that if i get that installed that would actually make the other one easier that we were trying to get into a shotgun turret a shotgun turret Okay, um, if I look, I can't see anything in there. Well, you know what we're going to do. Uh, can I throw the flashlight there? I am a, a ninja man. Uh, we don't have line of sight because of that dang turret. Okay, can I shoot that console? Like, if I shoot that, what's gonna happen here? Um, that did not work. Okay, well, dang. Can I sneak up on it from the other side, maybe? I don't think I'm gonna get my uh, flashlight back otherwise. Can I I think I can get it from this side if if I smash that, yeah. I bet I can get. Yep, I bet this works. And this not go all auto, that's just a nice shot. Yep, nice clean shot. And it's down. Cool. <laughs> yep, I I think it's safe to say that we have our method as a, a lot of shotgun rounds as well right there that's kind of insane the name's Murphy okay Murphy can't wait to meet you okay all right what is this right here bionics sweet okay what do we have on in here um not anything I actually want not not gonna bother East and below. A sudden rise of hubris in the region. Uh, perhaps. 
perhaps game. Oh, Scarebot. Okay, well. I'm actually faster than you. Believe it or not. I'm just gonna get my breath back because I have stamina and you don't. <laughs> okay. Not that this is gonna be a matter of stamina. Oh, got hurt. Got shocked, I think. Oh, what? What's going on here? Come on. There we go. I just needed to get a, a shot. Okay, it's down. Something's hitting something. Something's whacking, I think, a robot. Okay. Um, a lot of tin powder there. Uh-oh. There's an alarm going off? That's weird. That's very strange. What do we have in here? Okay, we have a prototype cyborg here. If we can, you know, rescue them is the thing. These guys are insane. I, I think that the only one that's viable is that one. Um, but we're we're not actually even going to do anything with this, I don't think, because... I mean, there's no real reason to, to be completely honest. I think this might be a turret. Is this a turret? Yeah, this actually is a turret. I've killed already. Cool. Okay. I've kind of been through here, it looks like. Not all of here, though. There's like a little room that appears to be missing. Cool. Uh, let's see. We'll just check this out. I'm just kind of curious. Yep, just an empty room. Okay, well, we've just about explored this whole first little level, huh? And there's that entrance right there, and i loop around this, just kind of hang around. There's that bionics vault that's a dead end. There's this as well that goes into here, which is curious. Uh, that right there. From the north. Oh, hello. Um, you guys destroyed the turret. Or the terminal. Oh, dang it. No, you don't need to go auto. Just blast them. Easy, right? Well, Robo versus Cop instead of Robo Cop, right? Okay, I could try and get through here. Um, I could teleport through, but I don't really know what's on the other side, and I am a little bit concerned about teleporting through to that. Um, we could also blow it up. I don't think I have... I mean, I've got the C4... Oh, we have the C4 explosive. I mean, I could set some C4. Yeah, let's do that, right? Why not? Um, set timer for, let's go with 100. Drop. And I am going to run and get those earplugs in because this is probably gonna be a fairly, fairly big Explosion. I mean, it's C4. I don't think it's gonna like shatter the whole world, but definitely don't want to be near nearby when it goes off. We'll just kind of wait till we catch our breath. I don't know. Maybe we'll go loot a little bit more. Just check things out. Make sure we've cleared out the whole area. Well, there's also this that we were gonna. It could have some stuff in it as well. It's uh, also to 100. And I'm getting out of here. We'll see. We'll just see if we can get a glimpse of the area that should be blown out by the uh, first explosive soon. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Hydrogen canister? Yes, I will definitely take that. 
Uh, I can't I can't move the crate really. That's annoying. Ethanol, that's kind of useful. I mean, and there's also a headlamp, which is also moderately useful. Can I get my Jane out? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's stop that breathing. You know, also I was thinking like about like the uh, cyborg thing and like what makes a good cyborg character. Okay, there's the downstairs are right here. That's good. And I think the Alien series does a good one because it's like really cold and calculating in its decisions, you know? Which is like perfect. It's like that's all you need is like something that just like doesn't really to be seem to have compassion and you have a good robot character. Also, I didn't realize this, but these things sometimes, I guess not always, but when you smash them, they just kind of open up. And then they don't like they don't get smashed, but you, so you can like open and close them. I know. Okay, well here this uh this uh looks like that did the trick. <laughs> I'm sure that the other one did the trick too. Is this something I can just walk on? It is. Okay. Um. Interesting. I, I suppose that I'm not going to be able to get into the uh, the locked room. Oh, hello. Where's that corrosive zombie coming from? Just trying to get a guaranteed shot. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Meh. Nope, nothing. I mean, that's, I mean, that's like a little bit bad. It's not really, I don't think, even worth picking up, to be honest. There's something going on to the side as well, over there. Maybe there will be some explosives in the magazine thing that we'll be able to use on here to open that up. <laughs> That's a Glock 18C. I've not seen that before, I don't think. Maybe I have. I don't think I have. Well, it looks like the computer got exploded down to the floor below. You know what this is? This is like a Fallout map, you know, like where like all the office buildings, the floors are like blown out between them. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I know it. <laughs> if you've played those games, it's so annoying. Okay. Um, I suspect that the explosive has gone off by now. I would assume. Yep, it looks like destruction. Um, wow, okay. Let's see what's left. A drum mag, okay. Uh, it's a scar heavy drum mag, actually. Interesting. Well, I, I like the look of that. There's actually a scar heavy in here. There's some food as well. I think I might grab some food because our character's kind of hungry. Where is that? Emery, we'll go with, yep, the Mexican from food. You gotta do it, man. Oh, uh, man, I, I gotta say, I do love myself some some Mexican food. Uh, let's get all of these opened up. Then we'll heat up. Yep. That sounds like, I mean, it's not like the best quality. <laughs> let's, let's make this clear. Okay, I can't really make anything either. Can I just... Eat it then. I'm just gonna eat all these things. Yum. Um, I'll take this and that and that. Those are good things to have. Where's the other emery? And to be honest, I just don't want to have to loot other food, and this will fill you up pretty good. These emery packs. Like if if you look, that's like a good amount of calories right there. That's like easily like one or two of those will have you covered for the day, especially if you have the vitamins with it, you know, like you're totally fine. Okay, let's get our hearing back, please. The game will let me. Yeah, it looks like we're good. It looks like we are good. Well, you know what? I might install a CVM if the game lets me. 
Where was the auto dock the, with the friends? It was like up around here, right? Yep. If it lets me in, then I might see about installing something here. Yep. Uh, did it not? Ah, uh, man. Okay, well that's annoying. I mean, we could blow up our way into there, but I don't think that I have a super easy way of doing that. I mean, I could, I didn't actually check thoroughly about the explosive situation there. Let's just do another double check. Um, if we look here and I look at weapons or gun, and there's all those guns. I don't know. I think it would be underneath weapon would be the explosives. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any explosives here. And the other option would be taking uh, something and making an explosive. Like if we made a, um, it would be underneath chemical maybe. What is it? There's like, you can do like uh, fragment bombs and other things. Yeah, if I had like gunpowder, I could do like a little fragment bomb here. I could also, I think I can disassemble like this, can't I? No, I need, I think a soldering iron to do that. But I could do that to make all those explosives uh, that got dropped by that tank into usable explosives if we had a soldering iron, which I don't. And we could make one. It's not like impossible. We just need a glow plug and some duct tape, which is like obscure items for sure, but it's doable. Okay, let's let's see if we can go down a level and get closer to the finale. Hey, oh my gosh, what is all of this here? There's dead zombie hulks down there. I'm gonna just wait a few turns and see if we can catch a sight of anything. And if not, I'm going to start smashing a little bit and also save on power a little bit. Seriously, this is like craziness right here. This game, I like having uh, multiple Z levels turned on. Just wait a little bit. I think that there's a... What is that right there? A bio-operator. Ooh, could I dissect them? Oh, they even have a gun. Do they have any explosives? No, but they have food and first aid kit. I mean, I should probably take at least that, right? If I have inventory space. Yeah, I'll take it. It's fine. I know it says that it's making us over-encumbered, but we're a tough lad. Any other corpses? Yeah, let's just take a second. Smash those. Any others I can see? Yeah, it's kind of a stretch though to get to that and a guard cyborg. I'll, I'll take care of them in the morrow. I just don't want that Kevlar Hulk to get to me. I think if we do like that, we should be fine. Got a couple of doors between us and them. And we're in the light here, so we can turn off our flashlight and we should be good to do a, di a little dissection. Catch our breath. Uh, drop and dissect. And I love having these scalpels in our hand. It's nice for doing these like on the spot uh, dissections. There's gonna be a lot of zombies around here, but like the nice thing is that they are pretty easy to have funnel. I'll I'll just leave that there for now. I think that one Kevlar one does have me a little bit concerned, and we are kind of weighed down right now. Um, I know there's other ways down as well as the thing. Something that I need to keep in mind is that we don't need to go down right where this Kevlar Hulk is. 
Yeah, there's like another way down right there. It's like super close to us. You know? Okay, well, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, blobs. I can do blobs. That's fine. Yep. We're gonna actually shoot them though. Proper. Wow, that one actually took a, quite a few shots. That was strange. Why are they not charging towards me? That's also strange. Usually by this point they would be charging us. But, you know, I just saw that our mustache is like a handlebar mustache. I forgot we did that. I forgot what Nosh looked like. Honestly, let's just take a second to think about what Nosh looks like here. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of robotics in him, honestly. He's not too mutated, though. He d probably looks pretty human, um, unless you look under the hood, you know? But what was that? It was this as well, which are the mutations. We got brown medium hair. We got a handlebar mustache. And we're deformed, which is unfortunate. <laughs> I forgot that we're like a deformed creature. Um, let's go ahead and actually, no, don't reload. I want wanted to reload uh, you. We'll just keep the other battery. It's just kind of, it's getting so dim. It's like kind of dangerous. Okay, there's another upstairs there. Um, looks like some blob got dissected. Unfortunate for it. Good for me. And this is like, Oh, there's a Kevlar Hulk. Um, is that the Kevlar Hulk from earlier? Can I like avoid them at all? I'm just curious. And I just don't have the right uh, armament for him, you know? Okay, there's just some blobs there. That's fine. Hazmat bot. Uh, Whatever. I don't mind a hazmat bot. We, we can we can coexist. I've been playing some Cogmind. I have no no quarrels with you, robot. Um, I think we already have surface map data. I'm not sure, but like check this out. This this city is like super far away from where we've been. I actually haven't even looked at this place, but there's probably some good stuff in here. Is a land center? What the heck is that? We're obviously in another top secret lab, you know, but I'm just curious. There's got to be, like, gun stores and our stuff, right? There's there's a gun store right there. Nice. Okay, well, that has me interested. We're going to have a, quite an intriguing uh, setup after all of this. It looks like there's some incandescent uh, husk or something there. Uh, there's a, a Hulk right there. Um, what's the... Yeah. I just kind of was curious about what these seeds were. See ya, buddy. Have fun. <laughs> um, there is actually also... What's, what's this right here? Oh, hello. Oh, man. Am I standing? I'm not standing on acid. I just got hit by acid. Can I just shoot you? There we go. They got me a little bit, but we're okay. We got tons of power. I think, yeah, I think that things are going pretty good for us. Things are going very good for us. I think that we'll probably continue more with this lab and, and see what else we find in here. Um, but I, th I think it's going to be, a, a, you know, cool sci-fi stuff <laughs> in an underground secret lab that we got to from a tunnel. I want to show you the tunnel, but it looks like this is going to be a pretty big lab, so it may take us a while to get back to that. And it, it gave me a very Metro 2033 vibe. It was pretty cool. All right, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.